Hi, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial for one of my wedding projects. Today I'm going to be embroidering the names onto some robes. I'm going to be putting bridesmaid on the back and then the girl's name on the front. Um, to do this what you'll need is a silk robe, a embroidery machine and a embroidery hoop some embroidery thread in the colour of your choice, some bobbin thread, some masking tape, a ruler, some tearaway stabiliser and an iron, an ironing board. Okay so the first thing you want to do is measure out where on the robe you want to put your letter in so i want to do it seven inches down from the top shoulder seam so i'm just going to measure that with this and then just place a piece of tape to mark where that is and then do the same on the other side Okay, so once you've done that, you then want to find where the centre is. So just measure across from one sleeve seam to the other. And this is about 18 and a half inches. So we'd half that and place a piece of tape in the centre so it's going to be about nine and one square over so it's approximately there that's going to be where we want our writing. So the next thing to do is to attach the stabiliser to the row. Okay and so for the front letter and we do the same again measure seven inches down from the top shoulder seam and then we'll just place a marker using some masking tape. And then I'll just measure the centre from the pocket, from the arm seam, sorry, to the seam here. So that is about seven inches. So I like to do it a bit further over than right in the centre. So seven would be three and a half, but I'm going to put the marker at three just because a bit of that will go under the arm so you don't want it exactly halfway so I think three would be a nice way to put it okay so now we'll put the stabiliser on Okay, so I've set up over at my ironing board, so I'm going to now place on the stabiliser. The stabiliser which I'm going to be doing is using is a totally stable iron-on tear-away stabiliser. So what I've done is I've cut the stabiliser to a bit larger than my hoop. So then I'm just going to place that centrally to where the tape marker is on the other side. When you're using this you should be making sure that the um, shiny side is face down. That's where the sticky part is. About there. 
I've set my iron to non-steam because you don't want it to be on steam for this and I'm just going to press down with my iron Really, to get this to stick, you actually need it on the cotton setting. So I know this is silk, but I've put it on the cotton setting to get the heat required to stick the stabiliser to the garment. And because this is on top of the garment, it doesn't burn the silk. Okay, so that's on. So now we'll take it over to the embroidery. Okay, so before we can actually start to sew, well, to embroider, we need to put our garment onto the embroidery hoop, making sure that it's in the right position. So, we're going to be embroidering in this way. So what we need is to get this in the centre of the embroidery hoop. So you want your material to be really tight in the hoop so that when you bang on it, it makes like a drum sound. So once you're happy with the position, you can then tighten the hoop. And you do that using this here. Just tighten that up. You can also check whether this is centered by using this. So basically you just slip this in. Like that. And where that is, that is your center. And so we're pretty close there. So I think that that would be fine for this project to keep that there. So now ready to actually go over to the embroidery machine. And do okay, so we're over at the embroidery machine now. The embroidery machine which I'm going to use is the Innovis 750E and so I'll just switch it on Okay so the um, Naming that I want on the back I've saved so I have to press this one to go into the folder and what I want is Maid of Honour so I select that one and then take that from there and then I'm just going to check that it's in the right layout for what I want and that's right that's how I want it laid out so the next thing to do is to attach the hoop to the machine Okay, so that is where we need to attach the hoop onto that little metal bit there. So I need to put the garment through and so you see that won't quite fit under so I just lift it up by pressing the foot up a little bit more. And so this should just slide on. And then just pull the little metal cap back. You can see it there. That just needs to be pulled back and then it should just clip on. Yeah, there you go. It's on there now. Just need to get this 
through the foot. It's excess material. It's ready to start. Okay, so once you're ready to start, all you need to do is press this button. But first of all, you need to put the um, foot down. When you put the foot down, the light goes green, and that means it's ready to start. So just press that. And sorry, we should be ready to go. And that's the finished product. Unfortunately, the um, hoop got knocked off. So this bit ended up being a bit further over than it should have been. But it's not that noticeable. So. Okay, so when it comes off the embroidery machine, I'll have all the extra threads, like this one. So what you need to do is just chop them off with some embroidery scissors. Okay, so here's the finished product. That's the name on the front. And then turn it round. That's the back. Also done some others. A bridesmaids. There we go. So I'm quite happy with those and I hope my um, bridesmaids will enjoy them on the day.